All right, so game one, Traverse City. Yikes. Okay, definitely a big yikes for me, dog. That's, um, oof. So right here, what I'm gonna do for you, I'm gonna break down, like I'm gonna give you my thoughts on game one, talk a little bit about it, what I, oh, what I saw, what I didn't see, and then we're gonna talk about game two. Uh, oh, look at you, you see my forehead. Ew. All right, so game one. Uh, for those of you that don't follow me on Twitter, I do uh, I do period summaries too. I can't remember the period summaries on top of my head, but if you follow me on Twitter, well, there you go. I was taking the period summaries. So you the good players were, the bad players were, the huge players, the, you know, so on and so forth. So, where do I start? Let, let's begin with the players that didn't have a good opening opening to the Traverse City Toronto. Players that did not, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah, please drive right in the middle of the road. Actually, yeah, drive into oncoming traffic. Thank you kindly. All right, so, without further interruption, Iger Chesterkin. Thanks. Faced like 35 shots, like 34, 35 shots, six goals against, and five of them were pretty weak. Uh, you know, I'll give the benefit of the doubt. Four of them were very weak. Um, granted, they were open shots, uncontested. Um, uh, it, it was it was tough for Jessica. Again, the benefit of the doubt. First, I'm pretty sure it's first game ever on North American ice. Um, the defense was not helping him yesterday. You want to talk about a bad game? Hunter Skinner had a tough game. Joey Keane didn't have a great game either. Joey Keane literally had a tape to tape pass. I think that was their fifth goal. He literally spun around on PK, put it right on whatever his name was, stick, and the guy just ripped it. Um, yeah, Skinner and Keener had a tough game, but Chesterkin. I'm not nervous about him. Like, I'm not worried. It's very small. First game, it is what it is. Just I didn't expect us to get lit up that bad. Granted, a big problem with the range right now, the defense, we have a good defense. Even though Skinner and Keen had a bad game, they're still good defensemen. Huska and Cheskin are good goaltenders. But when your entire offense is Adam Fox and Vitaly Kravstov, and Kravstov really didn't play that good. Like, he didn't, he didn't take over the tournament like I thought he would. Um... That's the thing, like, is this saying, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering this saying right now, but defense comes from good offense. Like, if, you, if you're controlling the puck, the other team's not. And in, in essence, that's kind of like defense. The Rangers really couldn't control the puck very well uh, for long periods of time. When they, there was a couple times, though, they set up in the offensive zone, and it was like, whoa, this, this is pretty freaking scary. Um, literally, when the game first opened, like, the first shift, the Henriksen line with Henriksen with Kravstov. I want to say it was Newell with them, Foxy and who is his part and Rykov. They opened up the game. They had probably about 35 to 45 seconds of clean, clean pressure and uh, and just control in the offensive zone. They, I don't even. They maybe got one shot off out of it, but it, it looked good. It was good hockey. It was unlike something we've seen with the Rangers in a long time. An organized, structured pass it around, and, and find a quality a quality chance to shoot. Um, and that was what I see, but, man, it, missing Capo Caco, you can tell there that Kravstov and Caco are literally going to be in charge of all things offense <laughs> for this freaking range, all things scoring with, with the offense in this freaking tournament because without Capo Caco, they looked lost. It was tough. I mean, you could tell this. A lot of the invitees, like I'll talk about some of the invitees in a minute, but a lot of defensively minded forwards. Not a lot of scoring on this roster. Newell had a couple chances. Uh, oh, this guy's name Dur Arta blah 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 blah. Number eighty seven was pretty good. Argashev, I, I can't remember his fucking name. And Zyder Gasage had a had a pretty good game too, but not good. Enough. I don't think good enough yet to earn a contract. I think the only invitee right now that could earn himself a professional contract at some point is Sean McBride. The reason I say that is he's a big center. I don't. I think he maybe lost one face-off of playing very close center because he did very well. He only lost like one face-off. He made the smart play. He always made the right play. He didn't do anything flashy. He just played a sound game of hockey. With saying that, something McBride I'd like to see a little more of. I'd like to see if he has a little offense in him because you know, in the NHL, you can't be a one-dimensional player. If you show that you have all the dimensions in hockey, offense and defense, and physicality and skating and all that crap. I think he'd be. I think he'll be a player that can earn a contract from the Rangers. But until we see that, I don't know. But he did play a very sound game. I, I, I like the way he played. 
quiet, but he played well. Um, and, you know, Zyder Gossage played well, and like I said, Jarrer, Bavlodoshev, whatever the hell his name is, played well. Um, yeah, his just offense was hard. I mean, even the two goals the Rangers scored were, they, well, that kid, it was a kid, what's his name, the invitee that scored both goals. That kid played well, but, like, those two goals he scored, like, that was kind of about it. You only really saw out of him. Uh, CJ Smith, maybe his name is, I think it's CJ Smith. First goal was a bit of a fluke, but hey, he put the, he shoveled the puck to the net and he scored. And the second one, I'm pretty sure he nipped it. But again, but hey, he scored two goals. I'll give him credit. The kid played well. But uh, yeah, fuck man, we need a Cabo Caco. Speaking of Cabo Caco, he did skate with the team this morning. So does he play? I don't know. Uh, the thing with Cabo Caco is right now. So this tournament, in the grand scheme of things, to the New York Rangers, doesn't mean jack shit. What means anything to the Rangers right now is a healthy Capo Caco going into the season. Same thing with Vitaly Kraft up and Adam Fox. They want their top young guys healthy because those are the guys that are going to be filling the seats for them this season. So if if Caco's not 150% or 110%, they're not going to play him. I don't think they will. So I, I half don't expect Capo Caco to play tonight. I would like for him to, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, in terms of the game itself, I think it's a 7 o'clock or 7.10 puck drop. If you want to watch it, I think the, the Rangers posted a stream on their Twitter feed yesterday. But if you want like a, like a decent quality, like you want to actually see what's going on in more than 360p, go on the Fox Sports Go app. Um, I used the Go app yesterday. Uh, it was The picture was, pr was crystal clear. My one issue with it was this, was that the netting is like the mesh they have at, at um, I think it's called Center Ice Arena in, in Traverse City, Michigan very thick and it sometimes screws with the, with the picture like it takes the camera a second to adjust on the play so sometimes you might lose the puck a little bit but it's a lot better than the stream the ranger provided i'll give them that much um now i don't think we played the detroit red wings to, to prospecting tonight so we're not going to get any uh announcers kind of sucks so it helped me out a lot because there was eight goals scored yesterday and i couldn't tell you who scored until after the fact but yeah that's um let's see if there's anything else i can talk about before i stop this uh, who played well? Oh, who played well? I didn't even get to who played well yesterday. I've just been all over the map right now. The players I thought played very well. And now I'm not going to put Krasov on this list because Krasov didn't really stick out. He, had a, he handled the puck very well. He had a quietly good game. The players to me that stood out were Adam Fox stood way the hell out. Adam Fox had a friggin' awesome game. Uh, his skating is unreal. His skating is unfreaking believable. His mohawk, dude, he, the way he finds space. And, and oh, his passing is phenomenal. His shooting's great. Adam Fox looks like the real freaking deal. Um, Tomo, Tomo Reunanen, or Reunanen, how the fuck do you say this kid's name? I, I'll never get it. Reunanen, that's how I'm going to say it, had a freaking awesome game. Skated very well. Sound defensively. Moved the puck. I don't really think he made any mistakes or any big mistakes that be. I don't drive a sports car, but it sounds like I do. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Rio Nanian had an awesome game. I already said I, I like McBride's game. He didn't stand out. He just played well. Um, you know what? I'll say Henriksen had a good game. Now, the thing with Carl Henriksen that I saw, man, as an undersized player, and I know it doesn't mean a lot in today's NHL, especially because it's much faster and size is a really big factor, but... Henriksen was getting beat a lot yesterday. Now, with that being said, I do think Henriksen, if he can just work on digging in the corners and doing like those little things, he'll be he'll be in the NHL within two years. I his hockey IQ is there. Never, never was Carl Henriksen out of position. Um, you could he's very poised with the puck. He's very calm with it, and he's got a pretty good shot too. He has a couple scoring chances. Like there was one play um, where Henriksen and Carlson, uh, Jesus Christ. Carlson, uh, Henriksen and Kravtsov had like one touch pass and he caught the, like, Kravtsov kind of t caught him off guard with a one touch right back to him and he snapped it like that. Or maybe that was new. I, I could have sworn it was Henry. Either way. Very surprised because most players would have flubbed on that because I don't think they would have expected that high high quality play from Kravtsov. Um, yeah, he played well. I, I liked Carl Henriksen's game. I think if he just works on those corners, like I said, and the physicality, he'll be a good player. He'll be in the NHL one day. I think definitely Carl Henriksen at some point will be like 
a fringe second line center in the NHL. But as of right now, from what I saw, and I'm no scout, you know, I'm no freaking genius, but from what I saw, he, I don't see him being higher than a fringe second line center. Definitely a good third line center one day, but nothing higher than that. Kind of like what Broussard was. Uh, well, I wouldn't know if Broussard had a really good year. Kind of like what Kevin Hayes was when we first saw him, when he was behind Stepan and Broussard. Awesome third line center. Awesome third line center. Could have played second line, but just awesome third line center. Um, Henriksen, I said Fox played good. Reunion and played good. Yegor Rykov had an okay game. Man, you know, for a big guy, Rykov is very, very inconsistent with his size. Uh, within the first minute of the game, he got bumped and blown the hell up. I don't know who hit him, but he caught him off guard. Blew up Rykov. And Rykov... Excuse me, he's like, I think he's 22, 23. So he's one of the older kids in the tournament. It's like 6'2", 2 two and a quarter. Ah, that's like 215. Bigger guy, I think he have a little bit of physicality. Really did not. Really, like he used his size well a couple times, but not a physical player by any stretch. He was really getting beat a lot. Um, but some of the things he was doing well, he was pretty poised with the puck, he moved it well. I had a couple of really nice shots on net. Um, yeah. I think I've already gone too in depth. Oh, wow, yeah. I think I've already kind of gone too in-depth. I mean, it's just the first game of the Traverse City Tournament. I'm not butchering anything. Like, look, what I'm saying, I'm not butchering anybody. I don't think anybody really, like, sucks. Like, I don't hate anybody. I just, I'm just, i just saying what I saw. Like, who didn't have a good game, who had a good game, and this and the other. I'm not, like, judging anybody right now, okay? I have all the faith in the world this year. I still think the Rangers are the best team in the Traverse City Tournament. And I think that's going to show tonight, especially if Capo Caco plays. And this will be the second game now. This team, you know, they're kind of used to each other. They had 60 minutes to play. Let's see where it goes. Hmm. Hmm. Getting old. I'm getting old. I'm yawning. All right. That's all I gotta say now. I've I've drawn uh, drawn off long enough. Uh, comment down below your thoughts on last night's game or last afternoon's game, and what you think about tonight's game. Hopefully, we get a big W tonight. I will be doing my review tomorrow. See you in the next one. Peace.